Australia's premier fishing tournament series, AFC Outdoors, is back and it's bigger and better than ever. Over the coming weeks, we'll witness this country's finest anglers fight it out for the coveted AFC Outdoors crown. Eight arenas, four teams, two species, one goal. To be the Australian fishing champion. Hi, I'm Steve Starling and welcome to Lentils Dam in Queensland for the first round of the Australian Fishing Championships. These four teams behind me represent the very best of Australian tournament anglers and over the coming weeks they'll be put to the test at some of the most spectacular fishing arenas this great country has to offer. Just as in the last series, each team consists of one bass specialist and one brim specialist. And we've got some new faces for you to meet this time. So it's over to Matthew Campbell now to introduce the teams. Team Ford Courier, a last year's second place bass gun, Jason Ehrlich, and two time AFC brim champion, Chris Slick Wright. The last two years, Slick's taken out the championship. And last year, I think that Harry and I were sort of battling it out pretty well in the bass. So this year, I'm going to give all the guys a run for their money and together as Team Ford we're going to help each other and we're going to roll on into victory. Joining forces to represent Team Berkeley, a brim angler Adam Reuter and defending AFC Bass champion Harry Watson. We've got uh, Harry who obviously won the Bass rounds last year, absolutely awesome angler and this year I'm, I'm really looking for a few skins so um, I'll be playing a hardball game and well Harry he always plays hard. Making their AFC debut for Team Mercury are David Green and young gun Chris Hickson. The new boys have one thing on their mind, to beat the established pros. I think being the underdogs is probably our strength because uh, a lot of these other teams have been here before. So Chris and I are pretty keen to get out there and show our wares and, and just say that we can compete with these guys. Our final team, Team Humminbird, is where we find bass whiz kid Carl Jockamson and Tim the Brim Morgan. Team Humminbird's going to win this series because Carl and I are mates. We've known each other for the last five years, fish together and we have a lot of fun together. And when you have a lot of fun, you always catch a lot of fish, so that's why we're going to win. Well, now we know a little bit more about our four teams, let's meet our target for today, Macquaria Nova Maculata. The Australian bass, as it's better known to most people, can be fished all the way from the Mary River in the north to the Gippsland Lakes in Victoria's southeast, but it's also been stocked into many man-made lakes. This good-looking, fierce-fighting species can reach up to four kilograms under exceptional circumstances, and it's attracted to a wide range of lures and baits. Jason Ehrlich from Team Ford Courier holds the AFC record for the heaviest individual bass of 2.2 yes. kilograms. Yes. That beauty was taken at Lake St Clair during last season's championships. But now it's time to take a look at today's arena. The first of our four bass arenas this season is Lake Lentils in southeastern Queensland. Not far from the Fraser Coast, Lentils is just half an hour's drive north of the city of Maryborough. A pretty little lake characterised by narrow, twisting arms and many bays full of luxuriant water lilies, Lake Lentils is renowned in angling circles for its spectacular surface fishing yeah, for bass, him. especially early and late in the day. Our competitors are almost certain to try a little of this topwater action early in the session, especially if the water's calm. Later, as the sun rises higher and the day heats up, things will get tougher and the guys will most likely switch to a range of subsurface tactics, including hard-bodied lures, spinner baits and soft plastics. But don't just take my word for it, let's hear what our four bass anglers have to say. Our plan to fish uh, lentils will be um, fish deep timber. I think that might be the, the option to try and catch some fish here. The surface lure I'll have on Nelly all, all for the first basically two hours I'd say and um, I'll use a zigzag walk the dog type which um, basically look like a injured bait fish or gar fish. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm going to be throwing a fair bit of um, jackal lipless crankbaits in um, against the weed and also in tight against the timber and trying to pull my fish out that way. Oh well lentils is a, a fairly reaction bite dam, weed beds so I'll be just targeting the the weed pockets, maybe a couple of frogs and stuff like that that's a bit different. 
Well, we're only moments away from the start of the first round of the Australian Fishing Championships and to call all the action, we'll cross back now to AFC's own Matthew Campbell. Thanks, Steve, and what a season this promises to be. All our pros very keen to win here at Lenthills as it kickstarts their team's campaign. A quick look at today's rules. Fishing a time limit of six hours using flies and lures only. Each angler will weigh only their two heaviest legal-sized fish at the final weigh-in. Ten points are awarded for top place, right through to three points for last. The Ford clock shows we're just seconds away. They're off. AFC Outdoors is underway. The boats our anglers are using are the first four Stratus boats in the country. And whilst our pros are obeying the six knot speed limit here at Lentils, take it from me, these vessels are super quick and super smooth. And you'll see that for yourself in later rounds of AFC Outdoors. Well, I think we've got the longest run of the fleet. We're stopping here, about 100 metres from the start line. It's where the big fish were. See what we can do. So Jason Ehrlich from Team Ford Courier not wasting any time in getting his laws into the water. Now Carl Jockinson seems to have tricked the other pros. He's peeled off and is heading in a totally different direction. All the fellas are going to the other end of the dam. I'm going up the far end where we got some big fish yesterday. So hopefully there'll be some good fish still there today. So two of our anglers with two very different tactics. We'll take a look at the Club Marine weatherboard. We can see that it's going to be overcast today, very different from yesterday's pre-fish. That may influence the outcome of today's competition. Now, first up, here's Harry Watson from Team Berkeley. Fishing surface lures early on. Harry came second in this event last year. He wants to go one better today. Come on, Hank. Yep. Got him. Surface fishing working well early for Harry Watson. Big fish on the surface. Oh, yeah, look at this fish. Beautiful, man. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Have a look at that for a chunk. That's what we want. Big fish on the surface on one of these lures. Fantastic stuff from Harry Watson early. But he's not the only pro to give that style of fishing a go today. It's exactly what Team Humminbird's Carl Joggemson is also doing. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, it's got him. Yep, yep. Oh, he's a good one too. Yes. He <laughs> come up now to look at it. Oh, it's a good bass. It's a good bass. Stay in. Oops. Nice fish. Yes. Yeah. That's a good start. Look at that. Nice fat lentils bass. Well, young Carl Jochumson, he's already off to a good start today. He's throwing a Zara spook surface lure. He put about 20 minutes in with barely a hit, then got one look, and now he's cracked a really nice fish to start. And I am really happy with that fish. That is a nice lentil bass. Oh, there's another one right there. After the break, the action really heats up at lentils. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Welcome back to AFC Outdoors. Jason Ehrlich from Team Ford Courier still looking for his first legal keeper, which here at Lenthals is 30 centimetres to the fork of the tail, and he's on. Nice fish. It's legal. It's our first score if I get him in, I think. Here he comes. In you come, mate. He's a little bit better than I'd thought. OK, that's a start. Here's our first bass. So Jason Ehrlich on the board with his first in the well. Now here's our new man, David Green from Team Mercury. He already has one in the well. He's looking for his second keeper. It'll give him his full bag limit. Follow a lure, there's a hit. Oh, gotcha. Come here. Come here, little fella. Oh, he feels all right if he's not covered in weed. There we go. Beautiful. OK, well, that's two in the well. They're not the models we were after, but uh, it helps. So that's that spinnerbait. He's not a big fish, but we'll take him for two. So Team Mercury with a full bag limit of two bass, and that's exactly what Carl Jockemson also needs to give himself the maximum amount of time possible for those all-important upgrades. Yeah, got him! <laughs> woo <-hoo>! Yeah! <laughs> he wasn't mucking around. Oh, he's got me in the... We come on. He did not muck around with that. Whew. Oh yeah, he's good. He's a good fish. Come over here. He doesn't want to give up. There you go. There's two in the bite. Now, Carl, after the win last year, you must be feeling the pressure <laughs> off a little bit with two oh, fish in the well. Unreal. This is. That's what I wanted to happen last year, and now to get them on surface, and like that, 
Oh, I'm shaking. I'm, <laughs> I'm stoked. Two in the boat and we haven't been out very long, so I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Now take a look at this incredible vision. The Ford replay shows just how these lentils bass absolutely smash the surface lures. So all our pros are now on two fish each, so they can concentrate their efforts on upgrading. They can only hold two fish in the boat at one time, so if they catch one that is bigger, they swap it over. And that's exactly what Jason Ehrlich is trying to do now. Yep. Oh, that was a good... Another one. Oh, it was right beside the snag. I dropped a good fish. It just pulled out of his mouth, and another fish just climbed on board. Oh, he's got me bricked, and there was a nice fish. Up he comes. That's a nicer fish. Oh, no, come on, get in there. That's what I'm after, one of those ones. We put two of them in the boat, and we are on our way to doing a little bit better. That's good. How lucky was Jason there? The Ford replay shows how he got onto one fish, and it pulls the hooks on him. But then another fish jumps onto the same lure. And can you believe it? It's a decent upgrade. Back with Harry Watson. He's had an upgrade already, but he's trying to sniff out that elusive big kick of fish that could win him the day. Oh, there's another one right there. Whoa, baby. Man, they're really close in. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, he's a good fish, too. It's another upgrade. That fish took me only rod lengths from... Whoa. Oh. Come to Dad. Yeah. Yeah. That's another nice upgrade. A healthy addition to Harry's bag limit, a lovely bass caught on a subsurface jackal. Now, Carl from Team Humminbird is our only pro still using his surface lure this late in the day. It's a risk, but as we saw earlier, when it works, it can bag him a good sized yes, bass. And it's working again. Yes. 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 Oh, he's a nice fish. Could be an upgrader too. Yes. Oh. He's an upgrader. He is an upgrader. He's as good as that first fish. He smashed it and I just struck and he hit it, never had it. White water everywhere. And I've just put it back in there and just slowly worked it out and bang, he come back again. And it's eight o'clock, so that's awesome. A sensational fish there for Carl. After the break, Harry has dramas. Oh no. And one of our pros pulls in this beauty. Look at the size of that. Welcome back to Lake Lentils in Queensland and the first round of the Australian Fishing Championships. Here behind me, David Green, one of the newcomers to the series, is about to have his first upgrade of the morning. In other words, he's caught a bigger bass and he's able to let one of the smaller ones that he caught earlier go. Now, Greeny, as I said, is a new member of the AFC series. Let's find out a little bit about this bloke. 39-year-old David Green of Toowoomba only started bass fishing five years ago. He finds them a challenging species to catch. Uh, I think it's just because they fight so well. Um, for their size, pound for pound, you know, I think they really give a good account of themselves. His favourite spot to fish for bass is Somerset Dam in Queensland. I'm a great fan of that big bass fishery. Uh, the fish in there are fantastic. They're, they're healthy, they're huge fish. His advice for anyone armchair angling at home who wants to get involved is simple. Well, I think if they just talk to their local uh, tackle shops, um, you know, become a member of the ABT, that's what, what happened to me. Greeny makes his AFC debut hot on the heels of claiming the 2004 Bass Pro Grand Final. And he's understandably proud of earning his place in the pro ranks. Just to be here today is, is a fantastic achievement for me. Um, I've never had this sort of exposure before, so I just hope that uh, I can be competitive, um, represent Mercury in a good light, and do my best. Well, from what we've seen so far, his best is definitely good enough. And at the moment, by the looks of things, he's on to another upgrade. That is a better fish. That is the one we want if we can get him in the boat. Oh, please stay on. Stay attached. Stay attached. Come on. Come on. Stay on, baby. That is a good lentils bass. Look at the size of that. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the one. Have a look at that. That's more like it. Fantastic. Look at that for a nice little bass. That's more like it. That's 
the one we came to find. What an outstanding fish, and you can understand why he's over the moon. David Green, the lean, mean angling machine. I'm on again. And could this also be an upgrade for Jason from Team Ford Courier? Come here, mate. How big are you? Oh, he's still a little guy. Just pile him in. Uh, unfortunately, not big enough. Could be a case that to get that big fish to bite that I might have to target individual trees. Along this bank there was a lot of trees, so therefore it's, you know, it's holding a lot of fish. But if there's just one tree there, chances are that like a big bass is going to be sitting on it because he's going to be the dominant fish and he'll you know, keep all the little fellas out of his territory and he might be the one that nails my lure. So that's the sort of thing that I'm going looking for. A fascinating insight into just how knowledgeable our pros are. No one knows how vital that knowledge can be more than Harry Watson. He'll be constantly trying to find ways to outsmart these lentils bass. Oh, yep, there's another one. It's another big fish. Oh, man. Oh, this is great fun. Oh, no. Oh, I don't need that. That fish got off. That was a big bass, too. Unfortunate for Harry to lose that one, but as the Ford replay shows, it's not been the first one to pull the hooks on him. A devastating blow twice today for the man from Team Berkeley. Now, here's Steve Starling with David Green. Well, the new boy Greeny is having a great day. He's caught plenty of fish. He's got two nice ones in the well, but he's looking for that big kicker that could put him over the line. And in the middle of the day, the way he's doing it is throwing a spinner bait in amongst the timber and letting it sink down and slow rolling it out. Now, this is instant death fishing. If you hook a big bass in there, You've just got to muscle it out. Soon I'm going to have to make a tough decision whether I spend the time and drive back around to the other arm or, or whether I'll stay here and hope, hope for the best. Oh, he's going back to that snag. Come out of there. Don't think he's going to upgrade the one that we've got in there. So Dave Green's spinnerbait working well, but he'll need bigger fish than that if he wants to upgrade. Now here's something we don't see that often on AFC Outdoors. Harry Watson has a live audience. What are you running, cattle? Yeah. Uh, where did I see some? I think on the other side of the spit here. Uh, in the water there, feeding on the lilies. Half hour, not even that. There's a fish. You might be bringing me luck, mate. Yeah, yeah it's a nice boat. We're doing a TV series. Australian Fishing Championships. Oh, yeah. I expect you to be watching. Oh yeah, he's a nice fish. Oh, I'm sure. That's an upgrade. You did bring me luck, brother. See you, mate. Not bad fish. Caught him while having a yarn to that cow cocky. Not a bad upgrade for Harry. And with time running out at the other end of the dam, Carl is also on. Oh, he's a nice fish. He could be an... Oh, I don't know. He could be an upgrader. Uh, yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. That's an upgrader. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that is the guy. He just come off that log, come to the top and I put him in the net. Didn't even fight. Has that last fish sealed the win for Carl? Or has Harry's consistent day given him the upper hand? And what about the Green Machine's monster? Will that fish give him enough to pip them both? Find out at the weigh-in after the break. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors and we're with Team Humminbird's Carl Joggemson. He's preparing for the weigh-in and hoping his early stellar session with surface laws will pay off. Two of our bass pros have already weighed in. Setting the early pace is rookie Dave Green of Team Mercury with his bag of 2.88 kilos. Does Carl have enough? Carl Young Gun Jockinson from uh, Team Hummingbird and he's got two beautiful bass in there as well. I tell you what, there's not much between these fish today. I'll pass those over to Tim to get rid of the water out of them. 
Tell me a little bit about your day on the water. I had a great day, lentils, I love it. And, and today the plan worked out on surface lures. I think you saw a couple smash those surface lures. So I had a ball and, got, and my two keepers were on surface, which is pretty rare. So I had a great day, but it's going to be close. Greeny's got good fish, Harry does, and Jace, it's, it's going to be real close. Well, you took this round out last year. Let's see how you go. You've got to beat 2.88 kilos to be in the running. It's going to be close. And I don't quite think you're going to get there. Yes, you are. Yeah. 2.94. So Carl has set the weight to beat with just Harry Watson left to go. And last but certainly not least, Harry Watson from Team Berkeley. And he's come in with two beautiful bass. And we've been saying that all day and they are all beautiful bass. This is going to go right down to the wire. 2.94 is what you've got to beat, mate. So I'm going to pass those over to Adam Reuter to get rid of the water out of them. Now, I saw most of your day out there. You caught a lot of fish today, didn't you? Yeah, I did catch a lot of fish, but I don't think I caught too big enough to knock off 2.94, Stu. All right, here we go. We've got the water out of them. Wow, one of those is a beautiful bass, and we'll be weighing that for big bass. They're lively, too. They're in such good condition, these fish. And it's 2.88 kilos. Yes! And it's not enough to beat Team Humminbirds. Oh, Carl Jockamson. Harry Watson pipped at the post. Now, with Dave Green and Harry Watson both amazingly weighing in at 2.88 kilos, the Stratus boat's big fish took on added significance. It was Dave Green who landed the heaviest bass at 1.77 kilos, and he picked up the bonus two points. Those points, combined with the eight for second place, put Team Mercury in equal first position. Watson finishing third with Jason Ehrlich fourth. But the day really belongs to Carl Jockamson. To win a tournament on surface lures is unreal, and to get one of the fish, uh, first fish that I weighed in on surface lures, just unbelievable. I, I had a great day. Central to Carl's success at Lentils was the performance of his Humminbird fish finder. Humminbird, the official fish finders of the Australian Fishing Championships, show anglers what they can't see under the water. The new Humminbird side imaging units display an incredible three-dimensional view of everything underneath the anglers' boats. Weed beds, snags, bottom contours and even fish are visible through this amazing new technology. The units are waterproof and interface with a GPS antenna and your home computer. Visit humminbird.com.au for all the good oil on these amazing units. Well, a great opening round for both Team Humminbird and Team Mercury. Carl Jockamson took out today's championship points with that beautiful two-fish bag. But in equal second place and with today's big bass, it turned out to be a dream debut for Dave Green from Team Mercury. Next round, we stick with Australian bass as our anglers travel to Lake Cania for the second round of the Australian Fishing Championships. But before we go, a few words of wisdom on taming those lentils bass from today's victor, Carl Jockamson. Yeah, had a dream run today at Lentils Dam. Just catching bass on surface lures was just unbelievable. Had the heart pumping the whole time, but I couldn't do it without the, my gear, the Ian Miller Bass Buster and a Sustain 1000 reel, coot with six pound fire line and 12 pound nitlon leader. And just walking this surface lure across the top, the bass just couldn't resist it. It was just a great setup and a great win for Team Humminbird.